Good morning, PPCC, staff, students. Welcome back to the virtual gym. Today's video is going to be a little different. I'd like to have more of a discussion about our post-workout recovery options. And what I mean about that is, what are we doing to recover our muscle soreness after our workouts? And hopefully we've been working out, hopefully we've been moving and um, being active as best as we possibly can in, in, um, with the times that we're kind of given right now. So I'd like to talk to you about DOMS, delayed onset muscle soreness. It happens. Um, you know, we work out and uh, we go about our day and we feel fine. Um, you know, we, then we, go our, we do our nightly routine. Um, you know, we wake up in the morning and that's when we might start feeling a little stiff, a little sore in the muscles. Um, and the muscle onset soreness will kind of kick in 24 to 72 hours uh, down the road. Uh, it's perfectly natural. Um, everybody kind of feels that. Uh, if you don't, good for you. Um, and uh, so I have a I have a list here I've kind of come up with that I'd like to talk to you about and discuss and, and explain a few options that we have uh, at our disposal um, with or without equipment um, to help with um, uh, muscle soreness and help with our recovery options on the back end of our workout. Before I go into the list, uh, I'd like to um, explain and make it explicitly clear that uh, despite, um, you know, being certified and having those qualifications, always do your research. Uh, just don't take the words of people. Um, do your own research and know that if you're doing something that uh, is uncomfortable in a movement or the body hurts or you're feeling pain, stop immediately and, um, you know, recover your movement. Um, don't, don't continue. Don't go past that threshold of pain. Uh, I want to make that explicitly clear. Uh, it's no different than if you worked out with me in the in, in the gym. Uh, we will stop and we will we will kind of uh, take a bigger picture and look at what we're doing, and then uh, readjust from there. So just remember that. So uh, getting into the list, I'd like to talk to you first about uh, proper warm ups. Having a proper warm up, dynamic movements, dynamic stretch stretching warm ups are key to. Uh, not only just the workout, but the back end as well, the, the post-workout uh, time frame. Um, you can also see my video uh, on, the, on our YouTube channel uh, for a dynamic movement, dynamic warm-up. And I highly encourage you to go check that out. Um, some other videos to go check out that are really good, check out Brandon's videos on, his, um, on some of his movements and... Um, and, and, and rolling and technique. Um, he's got some really good good things to say and good things to put out there. So go check out his videos as well uh, when it comes to uh, warming up and, and movements. Uh, next on the list would be like self-massage, um, something we can easily do at home. Um, foam rolling, if you have a foam roller, great. Uh, you use foam rolling, uh, use a lacrosse ball or a tennis ball at the very least. You can get those pinpoint movements on the body. Um, to kind of help um, break up that muscle um, and and help it recover, uh, get the pain kind of out of there and help that muscle recover. Uh, next on the list is um, is topical. So something like cryotherapy, so like a biofreeze product or um, like icy hot uh, will help. Um, not 100%, but it 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 helps in the process. Um, it might help in the there and now. Um, aspect. Uh, just know that that is more of a band-aid, um, not for long-term use, okay? Um, again, back to the dynamic movements and stretches, um, post, post-workout, post you know, recovery time. Um, try to stay away from those strict isolating movements or the, the, the strict stretch. Um, uh, we want to we want to be more fluid, more dynamic, more movable, so to speak. So, um, look into yoga uh, as a post workout recovery. Um, in general, just yoga as a workout is great. Um, hip and core activation um, is is really good. Keeping the hip and the core uh, mobile and movable is going to help with um, with those delayed onsets. Uh, a huge one is nutrition, um, pre, post, during, uh, just general nutrition, um, in life is good. It's a good habit to have. It's probably one of the hardest habits we have as human beings. Um, 
you know, not just working out, but just day to day lives. Uh, now is the time to really work on that good nutritional habit. Um, but having those proteins and the potassiums uh, at your disposal uh, will help uh, those muscles recover um, and will help them grow and, and um, will help them uh, just will help you feel better in general. Um, again, a- another good habit is sleep. Uh, it's that one's probably that one I can say is probably one of my hardest. Uh, to work with, um, and it's hard for everybody too. If you don't have a good proper sleep routine, um, hitting that good circadian ry- rhythm, um, and getting into that REM, letting the muscles relax uh, while in that sleep state, and um, gives them good recovery time. So that one, do your best. Um, try to give yourself e- even day naps. <laughs> We're working from home. Uh, take that time. Give yourself that time to uh recover um just the not only the body but the mind as well um it's it's a muscle you're working on um you work with every day um kind of to jump on back onto the nutrition side not so much for eating but hydrate water drink lots of water hydrating will help those muscles recover uh some other stuff to think of would be hot and cold therapy um and what i mean by that is if you have um if you have the time to take a hot and cold shower or a hot and cold bath, um, now don't go to the extremes. Of course, uh, again, we want to be comfortable. Um, you know, lukewarm bath, uh, a, a hot bath, but not to the point where uh, you're feeling pain. We don't want that. Okay, uh, so having the ability to to swap back and forth to a hot and cold will help those muscles um, loosen, contract, but in good ways. Uh, it will help them recover. Um, again, back to the bath, an Epsom salt soak. I firmly believe in Epsom salts. Um, uh, even if uh, you have that mindset that you know it, it may not work, but you know what? Putting yourself in that good, positive mental attitude, relaxing, letting the body relax. There is that therapeutic aspect um, for helping the muscles recover. Uh, don't neglect your rest days. Okay, uh, take a rest day. It's okay. Take more than one rest day if necessary. Uh, pushing the body too hard, you start to break down. Again, that invites illness. It invites sickness. We don't want that. That's what we're all trying to avoid in these times. Um, and one that kind of came up, it's kind of new to me that I've seen uh, doing some research for you guys, is um, music. Um, it might seem like an odd aspect, but um, putting yourself in that positive mental attitude, letting the muscles meditate and relax, uh, letting the mind and the body relax, uh, just putting yourself in that good mood just to just chill out, um, especially now. Um, a lot of this is less muscle soreness and more kind of mental health care, um, you know, uh, will definitely pay dividends in the long run. Get you back into the workouts you want to do, uh, building that muscle, building that endurance, um, whatever your goals are, keep them going, um, and then just take care of yourself. Uh, that's all I really want to push home on this. So uh, with that said, I appreciate you spending time with me. Um, I look forward to seeing you in the virtual gym. Stay safe, stay healthy, keep moving, and uh, we'll get it through this together. All right, you guys have a great day.